So, hello and welcome to our 10th lesson in our study of functional analysis. So, in this lesson, we'll be talking about equivalent norms, okay? You know, we've talked about equivalent topologies before. And we said two topologies are equivalent if they generate this, if they have the same or they generate the same open set, right? So, when it comes to norms to... When are two norms equivalent? So I'm Bredo Canrino, a final student of mathematics, K N U S D, and I'll be taking you through this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos and like the video if it helps you. <coughs> so given any vector space X, two norms. Alright, you can see those two norms there are equivalent. If and only if there exists some positive real constant which are positive so a greater than zero and b greater than zero such that this here holds right so we can rewrite this inequality in different ways right so you can write it in this way and in that way, we can see the same thing, right? For instance, the one that we have here is the same thing as what you can see there. Okay, I think here is... Um, okay, do we have one over P here? Then we have this one to here, okay? Right, so this inequality here <coughs> can be writing this way or that way. Okay. So in other ways, what we are trying to say is that the two norms, this and that, generate the same topologies. And that is they define the same open subsets of X. Okay. So when two norms are said to be equivalent, then the generate the same topologies that's what we are trying to see so let's take a theorem so it says let this and that be two norms on the vector space x then the following statements are equivalent so the first norm and the second norm are equivalent norms and the first norm and the second norm induces so induce the same topology on x then the first norm and the second norm, they define the same convergence criterion. <coughs> so that is, if you have a set Xn, where n is a natural number, and that's a sequence in the vector space X. And uh, the element X is in big S. Then the limit as n approaches infinity of the norm of X minus Xn, e, the first norm, is equal to zero. And that with respect to the second norm is also zero. Okay, so that's a theorem that you have to know. <coughs> so now we have another theorem. We say that all norms on finite dimensional normed linear spaces are equivalent. Okay, but we are not going to prove that. So there is a question here that we seek to solve, and which is show that two equivalent norms generate the same topology you should take this question serious so um <coughs> let's solve that okay so we are going to assume that two equivalent norms generate the same topology we are going to assume that <coughs> so we will let br this here is a of x and this I can see here denotes the open balls of radius r centered at x which is in the vector space the big S with respect to the first norm and the second norm respectively so this is respect to the first norm this with respect to the second norm right so we know that the when we go to the first norm, right, when the radius is 1 and our x is 0, right, of the first norm, 
we are going to have this here to be open all right with respect to the first norm and because of this assumption we made it implies that this here is also open with respect to the second norm because we are saying that we assume that the two topologies are going to generate the same what um open set the two norms are going to generate the same open set right since they are equivalent right so therefore since zero is contained in this it means there must exist so right now we have assume that the two topologies are the same they have the same open sets so what we want to show is that the two norms are equivalent that's the reason why the two topologies that they are generating are the same okay all right so therefore since zero is contained in this it means there must exist some r greater than zero such that this condition here holds so now we choose any x small x which is in the space x and see that epsilon is greater than zero then this condition here holds all right so this condition here implies that the norm with respect to the first norm a r minus lambda x then the norm of x b is less than one right and rearranging this implies that we would have r minus epsilon the norm of h with respect to a is less than the norm of h with respect to b right the second norm right so the first norm is less than the second norm so saying this is true for every epsilon we can conclude that you know epsilon is very very small right so epsilon my r minus epsilon is approximately equal to r so we can conclude that r then the norm of x a that's the first norm is less than or equal to this all right so we call this equation one and a symmetric argument that means when we interchange the rules of the two norms it shows that there exists an s greater than zero such that this condition also holds for um all the norms right so this is what it means it means that when you combine let me call this inequality two so when you combine these two it implies that r mm -hmm, this 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 there's another equal to this and from the definition of two norms being equivalent this was the inequality that we said should hold so this is how we went about the proof okay you know the question asks us to prove that two equivalent norms generate the same topology so we first assume that the two topologies are the same so seeing the two topologies on the two norms were the same we wanted to verify that the two norms were are equivalent that's the reason why the two topologies defined on them were equal and after going through all the proof we've been able to have this relation which shows that yes the assumption that we made is true because the two topologies that we said were the same because you could see that the two norms are what equivalent right so we've been able to show that two norms so hence the two norms are equivalent and since you assume that the two norms generate the same topology this implies that two equivalent norms generate or induce the same topology right so we've been able to do that so if you didn't understand the proof um it involves a bit of analysis okay just go over it sometime and trust me anytime you do that the understanding will become better and clearer so thank you very much and that'll be all for this video so in our next lesson we will talk about linear transformation the same as linear mapping or linear operators okay so see you in the next lesson